coming out tonight for the first time since he was sentenced to probation for beating up his ex-girlfriend, Rihanna. Now, a judge told him to stay away from her for five years, but he says he still loves her. And Craig is joining us right now. And was he all that remorseful? Well, it was interesting, you guys. When this interview started out, he was asked how he was doing, and Chris replied he was good, and he smiled. With his mom and his lawyer by his side, Chris sat down to share his side of what happened, but he left the most anticipated questions unanswered. This had to be the worst period of your life. Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Chris Brown being interviewed for the very first time since he pleaded guilty to assault, saying he barely remembers that night in February when Rihanna was brutally beaten. You remember doing it? No. Don't remember doing it? I don't, I don't. It's like, it's crazy to me. Like, I, I'm like, wow. Wow. When Chris was asked in three different ways what happened, he refused to talk about it. Just out of respect for Rihanna and myself, and, and I respect our privacy more, and I don't want, I don't want to just go into that. But you put on quite a show. Really Rihanna is evidently still in Chris's heart. You love her? Definitely. In love with her? Definitely. How did Rihanna react to all of this? I, I don't know. I mean, what did she say to you? Uh, I mean, well, we talked briefly after, but it, it, but yeah, but I don't want to really go in. I don't want to, like I said before, because of her personal and my personal. I don't want to say what, what conversations we had on the phone, but but um, we just basically tried to work it out. Don't tell me you're sorry cause you're not. Rihanna's song "Take a Bow" was a big hit before she was a punching bag for Brown. America fell for this R&B princess. Can Chris redeem himself? We caught up with crisis manager Mike Paul. I think what he is trying to say is that that was a different person. That's not the real me, but it's coming off wrong, and he needs some help with his language. He needs to own everything that happened. The same night as this court hearing, cameras caught the 20-year-old clubbing. Chris was sentenced to five years probation and six months of community labor. I feel like with with what I'm capable of doing as far as influencing people, influencing kids, the youth, I can do a lot more to help the community other than picking up trash. But I don't I'm not saying picking up trash is something wrong. I'm willing to do it. So why did you hate me? The singer says he knows he's also hurt his fans, but hopes he can win their trust and get back to the music. Now, Chris was ordered by the judge not to call, text, or write Rihanna until, get this, August of 2014. Mm. He says that will be the hardest wow. part of moving forward since they were, quote, mm. such good yeah. friends. And we still don't know what really happened that night, right? No, I mean, it was, of course, during this interview, that's yeah. what everyone wants to know. Right. What happened? What made you so angry? It's the one question he absolutely refused to answer. What started it all. Okay. And thank you. All right.